I just find it really amazing how these tiny little bacteria and parasites can manage to bring down full populations. That's the fun stuff, being able to find these little microscopic things and try to take them down before they try to take us down. Well, I was um, director of the, of the London School for nearly 10 years and I enjoyed it immensely. It was an enormous uh, privilege. I was uh, very passionate about getting back into research. So what I'm interested in is what kind of policies and strategies and evidence, research evidence, do we need in order to steer this growing world population through the decades to come. Personally, I would like to get into the field of Lyme disease research and just work on treatments or vaccines for that because there are people I know who've been affected by it and it could be a deadly disease if you let it get too far, but a lot of the times it is just a very painful nuisance of a disease. There's a canine vaccine for it, but even that's been questionable, so I would like to try to get into the field of perfecting that vaccine or trying to find a human vaccine. Linking policies to help us to live in a more sustainable way to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions with improving health. So for example, we've been looking at the health benefits of reducing the burning of fossil fuels, particularly coal, by reducing air pollution and improving health, um, of increasing walking and cycling in cities like uh, London, Delhi and India, and the health benefits that would bring, both in terms of uh, reduced air pollution, which is particularly important in growing cities like Delhi, but also, um, and very importantly, because of the increase in physical activity. This school has an amazing reputation for its research that it puts out. Depending on what we're learning that lecture, they'll bring in different professors every week or every day to teach us about that topic because it's the topic that that specific professor works with. So we get the most knowledgeable person we can teaching it to us who's had the most experience with it. We place a lot of emphasis on the students being actively engaged in learning. So it's not about telling people what to do. Um, it's about them finding out for themselves, uh, problem solving, um, asking themselves difficult questions. Science doesn't just sit on the shelf, but it's actually used to benefit humanity um, and to improve health worldwide. And it's that mix of students and staff from different cultures, different countries, different backgrounds, different disciplines, all coming together to try to improve global health that makes it such a rich experience for students. Because one of the big things with me about living in a city is I don't like being away from the woods and the mountains, but London is a very green city. There's parks everywhere. No matter where you go outside, you'll always see trees around, which is really nice. So any of the parks really would be my favorite place to go. <laughs> London as a city, it's a very multicultural city. Of course, some US cities are as well, but London is a particularly multicultural city. But the London School, although it's a British institution, I don't see it as being particularly British. I see it as a, as a global institution, which happens to be based in London. I have never been abroad in my life. So when I saw that there were programs abroad for the subject I wanted to study, I instantly started applying out of the country. And I've definitely seen a lot of personal growth. I've always considered myself fairly independent, but just being here has given me this really big just burst of self-confidence, realizing that I've made it here on my own so far. Like I definitely feel more confident about choices I make now in the future. What is your ultimate goal of your science? It may be to understand how a particular bacteria causes disease and um, interacts with the immune system of the human body. Even that kind of very focused research has much broader implications. It will have implications for human health, um, for suffering, for well-being, and for human societies in the future. And to be able to see it in that broader context is, I think, um, important as a scientist.